Hey guys welcome back to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create a metallic stream screen animation inside of After Effects. You can use this stream screen for any kind of game. I will share some cool tricks for the text animation here as well. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Okay, let's create a composition with the standard settings. Now take the pen tool and create a straight line. Make sure to enable the stroke, also make sure your stroke width is something high value. Open the text layer, click on this add button then add the trim path. Then open trim path 1, and change the end value to 80, and start value to 20. Now select the text layer, and press P to open position, and change the position of the shape layer something like this. Then add a keyframe on the position, go forward to 1 second, and change the position value to something like this. Now select the shape layer and pre-compose it. Let's name it line. Duplicate this line layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. Make multiple copies of this line composition by pressing Ctrl plus D. Place all the composition like this. Then offset the line composition by a few frames. This video is sponsored by Easy Edit Pro. Using this tool can help you to produce professional looking work within few clicks. There are bundles for both After Effects and Premiere Pro, so you can have a wide range of creativity. You can create different kinds of transition, shape animations, as well as awesome text animation without using a single key frames. That will save your time, and money both in the same time. Just watch the preview, select the animation you like, and click. And boom, your animation is ready to go. This is as easy as it's shown. So make sure you check out their website, and also try out the pack you like. Once you offset all the layers, make sure to pre-comp all of the layers again. Now select the composition, and press R to open rotation. Then change the rotation value to minus 90 degree and stretch it out like this. Now we are going to apply an effect called Brazier Warp. By the way, this is a free plugin by Video Copilot. This is very useful plugin for using the effects inside After Effects. If you don't have this plugin, you can directly find these effects from the effects and preset panel. I suggest you to use proportional grid when you are working on this effect. Make sure you maxed out the quality values. Then select the points and drag it something like this. First, try to do as I am doing here right now, but you are always free to experiment yourself to get some different result. Don't bend it or twist it too much otherwise it will look bad. After this, animation should look like this. Now pre-compose this layer again and give it a name you like. Make sure you check move all attributes then press OK. Let's add some reflection map. I will add all the files in the link in the description. Pre-compose the reflection map layer. And change the track mat to alpha mat. Double click to open the layer. Now add motion tile effect on the reflection layer. Increase the output width value a little bit, because we are going to animate reflection map. Then apply first box blur effect on this layer, and place it on the top of the motion tile effect. Increase the blur radius a little bit, 
As you can see, there are some errors while we are using the effects on the reflection map. So make sure you check repeat edge pixels as well as mirror edges. Now on the first frame, add a keyframe on tile center, then go forward to the last frame, and change the tile center position to something like this. After this, animation should look like this. You can apply tin effect on the reflection layer, so you can change the color anytime. Then go to the main composition and apply CC Blobulize effect on the reflection map layer. Change the blob layer to line layer. Then decrease the cutaway value all the way to zero, and also decrease the softness value a little bit. For the detailing, you can add grunge texture. Pre-compose the layer. Place it at the bottom. Now add compound blur effect on the reflection map layer. And place this effect on the top. Add change the blur layer to grunge layer. Now you can see the details here. You can adjust the effect by changing the values. Now select all these three layers and pre-compose it. Give it a name you like. Let's apply glow effect on this layer. Adjust the glow radius, threshold, and intensity values to get your desired result. You can apply curve effect on this layer, and adjust the curve something like this. You can skip this effect, this is not mandatory actually. Alright, the main part of this animation is done. Now we just need to add the text animation. Let's take the type tool, and type a text. Adjust the text size and position something like this. Pre-compose the text layer. Make a duplicate of the text layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. Double click to open the layer, and change the text inside the layer. You can use any text you want. Also, rename the layer if you want. Now on the top layer, we are going to apply an effect called Card Wipe. Change the back layer to soon. Hide the second layer. Now if we change the transition completion value, we can see the animation here. Fast change the transition completion value to zero, then add a keyframe on the first frame, then go forward to one second, and change the transition completion value to 100%. And the animation is done. There are a lot of settings you can experiment with these. But I am going to show only one option to make this animation more exciting. Open positions jitter. Go to the middle of these keyframes, and change the X, Y, Z jitter amount value to a random value. Then go forward to the first frame and change the amount to zero. Also go to the last frame, and change the amount value to zero as well. Now you can see more movements in the text animation.
Let's add a mask on the background layer with the rectangle tool, just like this. Also, change the mask to subtract. Select the layer and press F to open the feather. Increase the feather value a little bit. And our animation is almost done. You can add glow effect on the text layer as well. Adjust the values to get your desired result. To add more details on this animation, you can add a solid layer. But make sure the background color is white. Then apply CC star brushed effect on this layer. Adjust the values a little bit. and your animation is good to go. Make sure you place this layer on the background. Make a loop of this animation and you can use it as a stream screen for your streaming. So this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you guys in the next video, till then have fun and stay safe.